not good enough. I know it's sleeper. Are you ready for your headlining battle of the evening? <laughs> battle, 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 battle. Headlining of the evening, the amazing Katie Kincaid and Max Shanker. Top here. Oh, yes. The War of the Genders, we're back. Yeah, dude. Have you decided who's going first? Uh, men first, dude. Men first, dude. <laughs> Max is going first. Yeah. It's going to be seven jokes each for the last time tonight, everybody. One, two, three! Oh. Uh, people say Katie and I look alike, which I think is pretty cool to know that even if I was a woman, I would still have a mustache. <laughs> Oh, man, uh, this band t-shirt cum rag is Max Shanker. This is actually a solo project t-shirt. <laughs> so here's the thing, Max Shanker. Max actually has a catchphrase for every single time he has sex with a woman. Uh, he calls it giving them the Shanker sore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only time Max can ever eat pussy if he's high enough to think it's a Doritos Locos taco. <laughs> hey man, I am lactose intolerant. <laughs> Uh, Katie's dad and I actually have a lot in common. We both love the Grateful Dead, and we both wish he would have pulled out. He wants to fuck my dad. I do, <laughs> very badly. Max, if you're here, who's losing their virginity during an episode of Rick and Morty? <laughs> <laughs> I, know that, I know that Max, <laughs> Max looks like he's quick to explain cultural appropriation, but then only dates white women with dreadlocks. <laughs> No, I grew out of that. <laughs> I only date professional hula hoopers now. Uh, uh, <laughs> Katie's dad owns a karate dojo in Indiana. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. He owned a karate dojo in Indiana. Uh, after he saw Katie perform stand-up for the first time, he hung himself with his yellow belt. <laughs> Yeah, I know karate. I can break bones, but Max can only break his parents' hopes and dreams. <laughs> I also Max... can break my own bones. Thank you very much. Uh, Max is what happens when you let your baby hotbox in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the Gerber baby if you grew up to have a pill addiction. <laughs> it's ketamine, okay? <laughs> I like to snort it, not to eat it. I have a very bad gag reflex. <laughs> Katie actually, uh, Katie was a child actor. Uh, she had a uh, blink and you might miss it role as uh, chocolatier Willy Wonka in 2005's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for Max to roast anything that's not a joint bong or spoon. <laughs> <laughs> So Max actually has a bunch of food allergies, uh, but the only thing that irritates his body more is a woman doing better than him on stage. <laughs> and peanuts. <laughs> hey man, it's the one thing that could kill me. <laughs> it's how you know I trust all of you. <laughs> oh, hey, babe. Uh, Katie claims to be a feminist, but she runs a cooking show. It's like, I know driving's hard for you, but choose a fucking lane. <laughs> uh, Max says he likes to date women with intention. Uh, if that intention is to fuck every woman and give them a UTI. <laughs> <laughs> He's a gross dude. I know after sex, he just licks his fingers to test their pH balance. <laughs> Are you kidding? I have too many food allergies to look anything. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Uh, Katie and I drove up here tonight from Chicago, and on and the car ride, she told me how excited she was because she's finally getting hit on in lesbian clubs. <laughs> Which, like, I thought that was shocking because, like, Katie's like a Chicago 7 and an Indiana hate crime victim. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's true, Max did drive us up here, which I thought was crazy. I didn't know he had a license considering he thought the DMV sold DMT. <laughs> <laughs> Max, you look like Jesus if his disciples were a Grateful Dead cover band. <laughs> Where are they playing next? <laughs> Last joke. Last joke. Uh, Katie does improv. Her improv group is called Cold's Cash, uh, which doesn't make any sense to me because last I checked, Cold's doesn't run estate sales for gay men who died during the AIDS crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave. <laughs> um, Is there a door back here? 
<laughs> no, no. Guys, we, we honestly, we need to wrap this up. Max needs to get back to a ride fest uh, porta potty to continue fingering somebody. <laughs> Actually, Max doesn't even have a penis. It's just another hand down there going, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, give we're it done, up. We're done. Give it up for that, everybody. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, damn. Uh, we get our haircut at the same barber in Boys Town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was a mom and her disappointing son. <laughs> that was very good. We should have ended with the Puerto Rican, huh? But um. <laughs> Note for next time. One more time for them for closing out the show. What a great battle. Very fun time. Great job. That was awesome. Uh, I want to start off with Jake. Uh, what did you think up here? I thought, so it was, it was very close, like, the whole time. And uh, you do have the same hair. You look like, like the two sides of Velcro that stick together. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, like, kind of the same thing, but, like, one's prickly. Like, yeah. <laughs> One just shaved their pubes three days ago, or whatever. I'm just matched with broader shoulders. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Uh, I, th I actually thought it was like cute and wholesome. Like I've never seen two people make fun of each other, and I thought it was like adorable. <laughs> uh, Max had a uh, women driving and a women cooking joke in the same joke, which I thought was very brave. Uh, <laughs> But honestly, at the end there, the last joke for me is what did it, and Katie with the fucking little rad fingers. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Katie. Katie, sticky fingers gets a vote. <laughs> Stephanie Robinson. Once again, isn't it so fun to see when women don't support other women? <laughs> Isn't it the best? It's so much more entertaining. Uh, no, for real though, Max, you are a curtain bang away from looking like triplets, <laughs> me and Katie. Uh, no, but once, yeah, same with Jake, the, the cow, whatever, this got me good. So Katie, you are my winner too, so. Katie with two. Jacob. Um, yeah, this was, uh, uh, I felt like Max was really entertaining, unlike HBO Max, which sucks right now, but uh, anyway, I don't know. No, I, I'm nervous to be too mean to Max because he's my ride back to Chicago, but uh, uh, it was ironic he did a Willy Wonka joke, but the rumor is that he has a wonky Willy, but, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, no, this was super close. I'd give it to Katie slightly, but yeah, great battle. Katie wins the battle. Former Rose Battle Chicago champion and MVP, but I do want to get thoughts from uh, Kevin Kellum here. Oh wow! Uh, you you brought up Riot Fest that he's gonna finger someone in a Riot Fest porta potty. <laughs> That's not fair to them. They're still trying to sell tickets. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus Christ! You know? Jesus Christ, Katie. I'm sorry. It's not Lilith Fair. All right? You know what I mean? <laughs> the only time you call Max is to help you move a couch. You could fuck his girlfriend on it. You know what I mean? It's not fucking fair. I'm going. Already with Katie. did. <laughs> I already did. Already did. Fucked your bitch, dude. <laughs> Joe, we shut up, it. Kevin. Oh, shut the fuck up, Katie. Oh, my God. You're the reason we're going to lose the election. All right, moving along. Katie wins. Uh, who's we? Now, Max, final thoughts. It just, you, you two, you look like, like a, like a non-binary Antifa couple, you know? <laughs> This is, this is fucked up, but like, you look like in the summer of 2020, you guys were looting a Target, and your fingers touched when you were reaching for the same comforter. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. That's fucked up. And now you guys are just insufferable at farmer's markets. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, we both just came. <laughs> So who won? I think we all won tonight. <laughs> we all won tonight. Give it up for these two. Great work. Great work. Oh, man. Get out of here and do your homebrew kombucha or whatever the fuck you're about to do. <laughs>